Welcome to another video for the Chicago Cubs franchise. We are about to start a three-game set against the Los Angeles Dodgers here from Wrigley Field. baseball for you on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. We got a notable pitching matchup in this one, Singing. We've all anxiously anticipated this matchup. You've got the ace of each club going face to face. So we got no Walker Bueller and Marcus Stroman. Against their best. We'll see how it turns out. In the all first right, game of the three game set. Started after this. And we're going to get this thing kicked off here. Stroman's going to take the mound. Our starter in this Six starts. He's 204 and a 556 ERA. 34 innings pitch. Gave up 43 hits. Like one for one whip, five walks, 29 strikes out. Every fifth day, ready to go and leading it off is going to be Trey Turner. He's tied for third in the National League with 10 stolen bases. And here comes. That's in there. In for a strike. Chicago is 16 of 14. They're third in the NL Central. Check swing went around. Oh, they said he went around on the check swing. Falls behind 0 and 2 now. And he'll juke. And there's and that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. That one is right hitting the right center. Suzuki's going to chase this one down. And that's going to be out number one. We're going to take a quick look at the Dodgers starting lineup. Justin Turner is going to hit second. We got Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts, Will Smith, Cody Bellinger, Chris Taylor, Edwin Rios, who will be DH, and Miguel Vargas will be playing second in batting ninth. So Justin Turner comes up. He is hitting 305 on the year. Seven home runs, 17 RBI. So let's just keep our eyes on him. I think it's pretty hard to take your eyes off of him. And first offering is fouled off. Turner is leads the team on a 306 average. Righty to the plate. And fouled off. And that one's fouled off. Going two down. And a foul ball. Another foul ball. That one's swung on a miss. So we get two outs to open the game. As Freddie Freeman will come to the plate for the Dodgers. Freeman hitting 299 on this young season. Very difficult to determine, and that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pick. Of course, Freeman, Freeman former, <clears throat> former Atlanta Braves, who signed as a free agent with the Dodgers. And that one's fouled off. Count goes to 0 2. We got an 0 2 count. Freeman. Next one misses. That one missed for a ball. That's a really Count good goes to one and two. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And that one's fouled off. Count still remains at 0 and 2. The wind of the pitch. That one's that one another foul, foul ball. He's really trying to stay in on the hands, not let them get extended, because that's where the potential for damage exists. Uh, that one, oh, that one hit the other way. It's going to be extra bases as they were playing the, the shift, and he ends up with a double. It's one of the problems of playing the shift is that sometimes hitters will hit against the shift. Do things like that. Mookie Betts is up. He's hitting 300 on the here. Leaves that one down. Little bouncer out front. Listen to little bouncer. Stroman's gonna pick this thing up. Throw it to first, and they're gonna be out of here. 
So we give up the hit to free them, but nothing comes of it. So the Cubs will come to the plate. Wisdom, Magic Girl, and Swindell, and Old Faith Walker Bueller. We go to the bottom of the first. Now here is Wisdom hitting 180 on the season. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And he fouls that first pitch off as it was a slider up. In the last seven games, Wisdom has two home runs, five out of the guys. Missed that slider as that one went to the dirt. Dodgers are 20 and 10 on the year. They lead the NL West. That one's hit on the ground. End of the shift. And it looks like the shortstop makes the throw to first, and that's going to be out number one. Take a quick look at the Cubs starting lineup. There's Nick Madrigal in second. Frank Swindell, Suzuki, ah, Seau Suzuki, Jason Hayward playing center, Clint Frazier in VH, Ian Happ, Wilson Contreras, and then Nico Horner. So yeah, Nick Madrigal hitting 262. I mean, you really make one it home run, six RBIs. Like he's got to be perfect to go out there and win a ball game, or at least to put the team in a position to win a ball game. So they've got and that one's hit. Well, it looked like it was going back up the middle, but Eula got the glove down, and that's the first, and that's out number two. Frank Schwindel. Now Frank Schwindel is up next. He's hitting 226 on the year. Seven home runs, 16 RBIs. Uh, first pick swing and he fouls that one off. It's a cutter going outside. Swindell, a former 18th round pick in 2013. Ah, uh, he got a hold of that one, but it was outside and it's going to get popped in the center for the final out. So one inning in the books, no score. As only the Dodgers have a hit. No hits for the Cubs as we take a look at the fan cam. And welcome back. Will Smith Will is coming Smith. up next. He's hitting 235. And uh, first pitch from Strowman. Back to work. Slider to it. He swings and misses on. You see the switch. You see everybody playing defense. They're, of course, shading Smith to pull the ball. Ball in one now. Swings and fouled off. off. Count goes to 0 2. So we got an 0 2 count. Here's the 0 2. And Stoneman gets him swinging at that slider. And that's strike number three. Kind of so we got our first out here as we take a look at the stat cast, the sequence of pitches. He started out slider, sinker, and then went back to the slider. Got him. The crazy thing about it was the third slider was exactly where the first one was, according to StatCast. Cody Bellage is up, and he pops this one in the right center. Hayward's going to chase this one down and make the catch to out number two. That's out number two. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. See the American League RBI in, leaders here. Step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. It's an interesting top two five list. Now Chris Taylor coming to the plate. He's Chris hitting 162 Taylor. on the year. Dare would say he's probably the worst hitting Dodger. Maybe. I haven't seen the rest of the lineup, but as of this rate, I'm saying yes. Taylor was acquired from Seattle in 2016. I'd say it's a pretty good acquisition. I mean, he's made his, you know, he's made his bones here in L.A. Well, and then it's Pitch and Stroman. That one misses for a ball. Count goes to two and one. Fouled off. Count evens at two. We got a two-two count. Two outs. Hoping to keep Taylor off the bases oh, as he hits that one foul. The two-two. The two-two pitch, and he hits this one back up the middle, and it's going to get through for a base hit. And Hayward throws it back into the infield, and. 
The inning will continue as Taylor ends up on first base. And Edwin Rios is going to end up being... my advice and there's something you don't see very much in I today's game they were saying he might still I thought I'd check and see no score here in the second go. first ball there here comes the pitch there goes the now he's going that's it for a strike the throw won't get there in time and they don't <laughs> get the out so he just waited for me to throw the ball, then yeah, took off. So Taylor gets his second stolen base so on the day, so on, on the year. And, and I mean, he was gone. The there was no, uh, there was no coming back from that one. Swing on and miss. The count goes to one and two. So we got a one-two count. Damn, I'm missing. It's going to be a ball. Count even to two. And a strong in a miss. So we give up the hit to Taylor, but nothing from it. So we're going to the bottom of the second. No score. There'll be Suzuki, Hayward, and Fraser coming to the plate. Bottom of the second. And now, Suzuki. To kick the pitch. Towards first. hit on the ground towards first. Freeman tosses it to Bueller. Bueller tagged the bag, and that's the first out. Here's Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward coming in. He he got the call to play this game because the hitting coach felt that Rafael Ortega needed well, he needed some time off. First offering is Hayward off. swings and fouls that one off. Hayward's played a 13-year career at so Atlanta, St. Louis, and then with the Cubs. Say he's had a, a pretty good career so overall. Count falls to 0-2 as Bueller comes in with the next pitch. Hayward gets a hold of it. It's going to end up in the left center as Taylor is going to make the catch. And that's going to be out number two. Clint Frazier's up next. He's hitting 360. Two home runs, 12 RBIs. Got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And it's fouled away. That one is fouled off. Count calls to own one. Frazier leads the team with six doubles. That one fouled and off. that one's fouled off. All nothing, gone nothing 0 2. So we've seen back to back sliders. Question is, will we see another one? And, and we did. We swung at it. We missed. And there, that's the third out. Two, two innings in the books. And the we've coach. got no score he here. Here at Wrigley Field, so New Miguel, Miguel Vargas is up. He's hitting 250. One home run, two other guys. Stroman back to work. Line drive. Vargas. And a base hit. Ah, line drive over Madrigal's head in the in the right center as Suzuki makes oh, the throw back into the end field. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Trey Turner now. And that's in there for strike one. Top of the third, no score. Ball right that one's hit to Swindale, and we're going to get a double play. First, back to back to second, back to first, and double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first base I mean, it was just, it was hit right to Swindale. Swindale just turns, throws it to the shortstop, who throws it back to first, and we get the double. We get the double play. Now Turner in on that right side. Justin Turner coming up now. To the left side, but it's 0 for 1. Well Turner struck out in the opening frame. The pitch. 
Ooh, we miss it there. Slider falling behind 0-2. Turner, zone. six doubles, tied for third on the dog. So that's an interesting, interesting thought. Ooh, oh, the miss is there. Super. Strikes out. And uh, we've got nothing to show for it. Still, still a 0-0 game as Dodgers did get a hit, but again, nothing to show of it. The last of the third. Ian Hack so coming to the plate. Chicago, Hack ahead. Daddy. He's hitting 281 on the year, seven home runs, 16 RBIs. And the first pitch from right Gilbert. And a strike in there. Yeah, he That's watches out and for a ball. Right there early in last the 10 season. games, Hack has had four home Should runs, nine RBIs. You got a hold of that one, and that was a slider coming in, and count goes to 0 2. We've seen a four seamer, we've seen a slider. And that was a fastball up and in, and that was swung on and missed. So that's the first out. Wilson Contreras is coming up, he's hitting 258 on the year. Contreras gets a hold of that cutter, and that one is gone, as that one flew over the fence. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at the, oh, wow, man. Contreras' is third home run. Yeah, that was cool. Wow. Look at the replay on this one. And I'm contrarious, it just, it was there. He got back on ball and it just flew. I mean, it, it cleared the, it cleared the stand. I think it landed in the first row. As Nico Horner is up, he's hitting 219. So the Cubs are on the board as that one's unfortunately going to roll foul. The dealer gets his hands on it. Horner. Almost had a single, but that ball just couldn't stay fair. That was the cutter. And that one looks like it was a 12 6 curve. And that one's going to be picked up by the shortstop and throwing a first. And that's going to be out number two. To the top of the lineup. And we go back to the top of the lineup as Patrick Wisdom is up. He grounded out in the first at bat. Wisdom waiting on that first pitch. He hits this one through the infield, beating the shift. He's going to get a single. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the It's weird. Sometimes those shifts, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that one, if, if they hadn't been shifting, I have a feeling that... Here's Nick I have a feeling that the second baseman would have picked it up. That's the third. And that one's the third. They're going to make the throw across the diamond, and that's going to be the end of that. But we do get the lead as Wilson Contreras hit a solo shot over the left field fence. And the Dodgers are up, I mean the Cubs are up one nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, here comes Freddie this Freeman. Fourth up inning now, Freddie Freeman back up as he doubled in his first at bat as he took a pitch the other way. And this one he's going to hit with the shift. He's going to hit it in front of Seau Suzuki for a single. So Freeman goes two for two. I mean, he got a hold of that one. And they look at the stat cast here. Is, I mean, exit velocity, the launch angle. It was insane. So Freddie Freeman, not really a threat to run. Here's Mookie now. But Mookie Betts is up, so that one missed for a ball. Betts grounded out. He's first at bat. That misses the zone. Ah, count and misses. Count goes to oh, two and zero. Oh. Freeman gets his lead at first with nobody out. 
On the ground, right side. And there's a hit. Has some trouble with it. Okay, so we got runners at first and second. As Betts got a hold of that one and hit it right through the infield. And Suzuki fumbled it a little bit, but was able to recover. Will Smith up next. First off, misses the ball. First and second here, no outs. Foul off left side. Hit foul. He's going to turn into the left field corner. Thank God. Could have been worse. Oh, this one is hit. Suzuki under it. Suzuki is under it as he's going to make the throw to third. Freddie Freeman gets tagged out as he thought he was going to make it, but he got tagged, so double play. We're going to see the replay, and Suzuki just makes that throw, and it basically one hops to third, and, I mean, boom, he just, he got him. Here's Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger is up next. First pitch. Just misses. misses for a ball. Bellinger 0 for 1 on the day. He flew out in the second. And the righty deals. That's in there. And a count goes to two. Count goes to one and two. One two splitter on its way. Bellinger. To the right side. Ah, and he this one foul. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, and Shulman got him with the cutter. We're going to the bottom of the four. We gave up a couple of hits, but nothing shows from it as we take another look from the fan cam here in Wrigley as the Cubs have something to celebrate right now with a one to nothing lead. Back here in Wrigley Field, and now the first baseman, and Frank Schwindel. Frank Schwindel is up. He flew out in the first. The first baseman, Frank Schwindel. Walker Bueller still on the mound, 21 pitches in. Wow, that one off. His count goes 0-1. Schwindel was 1-1 one one for 3 last game with a single. The plate, but that it's a 12 curve was fouled off, so the count goes to 0 and 2. <coughs> oh, he got a hold of this one, but it looks like it's going to get caught. And that one's gone. Nope, it's gone. Frank Schwindel, goes Frank Schwindel got a hold of that one, and man, that's his eighth on the season, 406 feet. Exit velocity was was 105.2, and we see Swindell rounding the bases. And wow! All I can say is that was cool. <laughs> this one, see, oh wow! See the angle. It gets lost in the sun, and you can't see it till it hits the ground. Seau Suzuki is up next. He's 0 for 1 on the day. That ground, one's hit the third. third. Oh, the third baseman fumbles it, and Suzuki's going to end up with a single. They're going to call an error on, I think that's Trey Turner. <clears throat> so Jason Hayward's up next. We've got nobody out. We've got Suzuki on first. Walker Bueller in, in a little bit of a pickle here. Ah. And he's not in too much of a pickle now as Hayward fouled that first pitch off. And that's the first out. The designated hitter, Clint Frazier. Clint Frazier's up next. He struck out in the second. Suzuki still at first base. Bueller, I'm sure looking for all well, they pitch out and Suzuki says, nah, I'm just going back to first. Frazier was two for four with two singles in the Suzuki the uh, C the series finale with the White Sox. Oh, 
That Swing one is swung on, hit in the short center. And that's going to get caught for the second out. I thought it would drop for a hit, but it was hit up high enough where unfortunately it got caught. Ian Happ's up next. He struck out in the third. <clears throat> Oh, that was it. Tap has scored five runs in the last three games, so he's got himself on base, so. At the belt and fires. He gets a hold of that one. It's hit deep into the outfield, but unfortunately it's going to be caught for the final out. So, four innings in the books. We see the, the replay of the home run from Schwindel as the Cubs extend their lead to two to nothing over the Dodgers. All set for the start of the inning. Chris Taylor down. Chris Taylor's up. He's one for one with the single in the second. To get Stroman through this inning. Uh, that one missed. Be a quality start, I believe. So, you know, at this point, getting at this point getting Stroman through, I say six innings is a good idea. I want the base hit as Hayward throws that one back into the infield. So he's two for two. Base runners on against him, and he's just done a really nice job of scattering the hits, not giving up any runs. But at some point, your luck usually runs out. Edwin Rios is up next. That one caught the plate for caught the zone for a strike. He struck out in the second. That misses. Oh, I don't know how that missed, but it did. So count evens at one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offer. Alan Brim first strike. Out goes to one strikes. and two. We see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Stroman throw to first. Uh, and throw it over to first, and he strike. He runs back over safely. And swing and strike it three is Rio strikes out for the second time today. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it. Stroman getting that strike out of Rios there is... Oh, now we got a steal situation possibly coming. Somehow, some way it'll click, and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Oh, that one, he said no. That was a single. Ah, uh, that was a sinker that was in for a strike. Vargas singled in the third. Pretty sure they've still got the steal on. Now make a throw back over to first. And let them know we're thinking about them. You know, we don't want them to just run away. Tying round at the plate. Yeah, there's the strike. Well, another like sinker, that one in for another strike. Vargas, I'm not a Cuba. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Fought off foul. He fouled off that split finger didn't dive and stayed up and that could have been bad. An 0-2 count. And a strikeout of Vargas is Sterling gets his second out. So even though we gave up the hit, Taylor struck out the next two guys, so we're going back to the top of the order. As Trey Turner comes to the plate. This turned into a beast. In there for strike one. That one's in for a strike. Turner 0 for 2 on the day. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. And Turner is gone for second, but all oh, he's there. He well, got in right safely. That's his third stolen base. I mean, he took off and. He got in under the tag, so Taylor got a, got himself, I believe that's his second stolen base of the game. And that one misses for the ball. Count goes to two and one. 
Swing and a miss. And that's Swing and missed at that one. Really count evens up. Two two count. Here comes the slider from Stroman, and that strikes three. So five innings in the books. The score is still two to nothing. See the Cubs mascot having some fun here. That's, <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, the 8 9 and then top of the order is Contreras against Bueller. Ah. Contreras fouled that one away. Count goes 0 and 1. Got a, looks like we've got a milestone watch for Contreras as he's at 97 home runs. Uh, he did hit a home run earlier in this game over the left field fence, so hey, milestone to look forward to. <laughs> he gets a hold of this one, but it's going to be hit in the center, and it's going to get caught for the out. <clears throat> we got one out. We got Nico Horner coming up. He grounded out in the third. We are going to make some calls to the bullpen here. And I think I'm going to warm up Brad Wheat and maybe, uh, maybe Michael Gibbons. I don't know. Yeah, I think Michael Gibbons. At least get them, you know, start getting them warmed up. You know, I may not need them. Oh, in the sixth, but maybe later. That one's hit on a frozen rope, but unfortunately hit high enough for the left fielder to come over and make the catch for out number two. We go back up to the top of the order. Patrick Wisdom up at the dish. Wisdom with a single back in the third. He gets a hold of this one, but it's popped. Oh, wow. I can't believe it stayed up that long. Mookie Betts chased it down, and that was out number three. Yeah, Turner, Freeman, and Betts coming to the dish. As Stroman, that's 64 pitches. We're, we, we like where he's at. We're not... Uh, Swings through that one for strike pitch ball. number 65. These hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity. And Held off on that one. Count evens at one. Oh, recognize that pitch just in time. We're going to go ahead and finish warming these guys up just, just in case. So at this point, it's better to be safe than sorry. That's when we booked right him to right field. But Suzuki, oh, got his He's hands on that out. one for the first out. The first base of number five, so digging in, Freddie, Freddie Freeman's two for two on the day. He's got a double and a single. Check swing, that but one check ball. swing, but it was in for a, for a strike. Very efficient. They say, Freeman was acquired in free agency over, this, just about over the winter. Now the, uh, the Braves decided not to bring him back, and well, Freeman went to Simon Del LA. This, this one hit in the deep center field, but Hayward chases it down near the wall, bounces into the ivy, and that's going to be out number two. Whew. Ooh. Ooh. Rookie Betts is up there. He's single back in the fourth. The opposite field. That one's in there. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch. That's a 184 home run for his career. And now Leo won. That one pushed foul. The 0 2. Got him with that one, and that's start three. So we're going to the bottom of the six. It's still 2 nothing. Magic Rose, Swindoll, and Suzuki will come to the plate. There's a 2, 3, and 4. And we're up 2 nothing. 
Now it's the second baseman. Bueller is up. Still 35 pitches. Today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see. Magico gets a hold of this one, hits this one into the outfield. In front of center field for a single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone. Magico gets himself on base. And like see the replay, it just bounces right in front of the center fielder for a single. We're going to look at the flashback here from the fourth inning here. It's still hit hard enough. And you see Chauvin like that in front of the center and just that launch of a shot from Schwindel. He went deep back to the fourth, but he had to swing the bat in this ballgame. Yeah, but he, he didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He didn't miss a stitch on the baseball. On the ground, a second might be two. Touches the bag for one. On to Freddie. Double play. Now back, number 27. Suzuki, the next cup to hit. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Out to short. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. No throw. He's safe at first. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to play. Now, to me, well, that was the really base hit of Suzuki gets, gets the first. And the inning will continue here. As Jason Hayward will come to the plate. Hayward, 0 for 2 on the day. Suzuki leading off first. Hayward. Oh, fastball down and down and in. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Suzuki now up to 40 pitches. Another fastball, this one up. And our count goes to 0 and 2. Left hand batter waits. Swing and and the slider, he fouled that one off as it was. It looked like it was breaking down. Well, I mean, it was. It just couldn't tell if it was going to stay in the zone or not. Fastball fouled off yet again. Count still goes to 0 and 2. Two outs. Got a hold of that one, and that one's through for a base hit. Suzuki ends up at second, so we got runners at first and second. We got two outs. As Hayward just put, made solid contact and just drove it right through the game. Drove it right through the gap and went into the outfield for a single. Clint Frazier's up. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Bueller once again in trouble as he throws that fastball down and it gets fouled off. First and second, two down. Next pitch coming from Bueller. And that one cut her up and up and in, and that one's going to get caught for the final out. And six innings through. Cubs are still up two to nothing as it's going to be Smith, Bellinger. And Taylor coming to the dish. Back here at the ballpark, and here's the catcher, Will Smith. Uh, you know what? I'm going to let the two of them kind of just chill for a minute. Uh, I'm, I think right now, Strowman's at under 75 pitches. Stroman, His stamina is still in good shape, so... Yeah, that one is yeah, there's no strong. need to pull him and right now. Everyone gets a little tighter, a way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And he's down he's on the missing he's that one, falling behind an on outstanding two. job of spinning the baseball, moving it around. We got an 0-2 count. Does. That one's fouled off. Count still remains at 0-2. Field two. Still on a miss. 
Strike three. Stroman here gets another strikeout out there. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook. Jeez. Dugan's back pass coming back up. So critical that was a slider to pitch break at 6 inches. Head rate at 1659. And you can just see the spin on this pitch just nasty. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger's up now. He's 0 for 2 on the day. And that's in there that for strike one. the strike zone somewhere, and that was a rule of strike. I'm not going to, I'm not asking questions. Bellinger might, but I'm not. Swings and fouls that one off. All behind 0 and 2. The wine and the pitch. Right. And that one, ooh, that that's one is for strike three. Back that one just looked at the, the frame, looked, looked at the ball, looked at the umpire, and was like, really? The the, that was a strike. Right yeah, that one just was like, wow. He was like, come on. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Chris Taylor is up. And he swings, swings and misses at that, that one. Offering. Taylor, two for two on the day with two singles. Probably could say, well, not probably. Could easily say he's been the most. Uh, well, there's the strike. He's Getting been the biggest pain right in the Cubs. To this date, but now we're we got an 0-2. But again. honestly, that don't be squat. That one misses for a ball. Stroman up to 82 pitches. Uh, this is going to be his last inning. We're not gonna. We're not going to tire him out, honestly. Get him out of here and get him out of here and get somebody else in. And that was a swing and miss, so finally they get Taylor out. So Taylor is now two for three, and the Cubs keep their two to nothing lead as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning here in here at Wrigley. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Ian Hap, up the Daddy. He's 0 for 2. Struck yeah. out line belt. While we're at it, we're going to go ahead and make... Huh, let's see. Ooh, you know what? We're going to give the ball. We're going to bring in... We're going to bring in Gibbons. Yeah, we're going to bring in Gibbons. So... We got Ian Happ at the plate. And he deals. And first ah, offering is swung on and fouled away. All right, we're going to go ahead and just we'll sit down weak. And we're going we're gonna to start loosening up the clothes of Chris Martin. Another 12 6 curve that was fouled off. Count remaining. Count goes to 0 2. Righty to the plate. Got him. And, and a cutter ball. that went outside for out swung on a miss. Chance. Strike three. He likes to shoot the ball the other <clears> way. But that time, a little anxious. And we're going to see the cutter here as it just breaks four inches. Spin rate 16 71. And half just. It broke too far out. It broke further outside than I think Hap figured it would. So, yeah. Well, that. We're going to have a flashback here to back to the third inning. And this is the, the home he run that Contreras launched third. over that Just left field wall to, to give the, the Cubs their the one nothing lead. That now turned that mouse on to 2 nothing. So we got a 2 nothing lead here against the Dodgers. See that solo home run from Contreras back in the third. Contreras jumps on that first pitch and launches it into left field as, it, as the third baseman missed the dive. And Contreras gets himself a single. See the replay, he just popped this one down the third baseline and 
Turner couldn't couldn't come up with it. And finally, finally, the Dodgers manager is coming out and he's saying, "You know what, kid? You're done." So Roberts comes in and he pulls Bueller. Let's see who the Dodgers bring out of the bullpen as Bueller is making the walk. And it's going to be Daniel Hudson. This will be his sixth appearance. He's pitched three and a third innings, 270 ERA, six strikeouts, no walks, uh, 250 average against righties, 286 against lefties. One down. Now it's the shortstop, Nico Horner. And he's going to inherit the runner. As Nico yeah, Horner fouled that one off and out. falls behind 0-1. <clears throat> yeah, Contreras leading off the first. Horner at the plate. Righty delivers. See the velocity. Side for a ball. With that fastball. Contreras leads off first with one away. Counts even at one as Horner waits for the next pitch. And There's that one's in up, field. in, and, oh, he dropped it, and that's going to, Contreras is going to hustle to second, so they're going to have runners at first and second, they're going to, they're going to charge an error to move the bets as we see the replay of, are you just inside out this one, and it just, and it looked like it bounced off of bets. As Patrick Wisdom is going to come to the dish. He's one for three on the day. And that one styled off as that four seamer gets styled away. We got one out. We got two runners on. Cubs look like they may be threatening them again. And that one is styled off. Count goes to 0 2. Some back to back fastballs, each one of them outside. And here it comes. Got him Ooh, that fastball out. caught the inside of the plate, and that was strike three. Ooh. Um, it caught just enough of the plate, and that was strike three. I, I didn't think it caught. I didn't think it caught the plate, but. Here's the they thought it did, so hey, they have it. For three. Magic Gold gets that first pitch, he hits it. And Contreras is going to score, increasing the lead to three to nothing. That corner is at third. So we got runners at the corners, two outs there as we see the replay from Mag Magic Gold's hit. He just punches it. So we're going to look back again, back to the fourth inning. And we're just, once again, the home run from Schwindel here. That got launched into the left center. So Schwindel homered in the fourth. He's one for three on the day. We got runner to the corners, two outs, Cubs. Oh, that one fouled off, thankfully. Swindell hitting 318 with runners in scoring position on the season. Ripped on a line. That one is hit in the right field, but Betts makes the catch. Makes the catch so seven one innings one in the books. And uh, we got three runs as, Mag as Madrigal drives in Contreras on this hit right here. As we see it again, and Contreras just the hit. It drops and then three nothing. So we are gonna we are gonna bring in Michael Gibbons. Michael Gibbons. It'll be his fifteenth appearance. He's 0 and one. Blew a save. He's had twenty and a third in his pitch, three ten ERA. Here at Wrigley Field for the top of the eight. So he's gonna be looking at eight, nine, and one as it's Rios. The pitch. The Rios Vargas gets that one right to Madrigal, and one pitch, first out. And Michael Gibbons comes in, throws his first pitch, gets a gets a grounder, and starts things off in the right way. Finish warming up Chris Martin here. 
Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets in the ninth, up that closer's coming strike in. Strike one is Vargas watches that one. Kicks and deals. And a strike oh, Strike two. Two quick strikes there on Vargas. And yeah, that start two is he couldn't keep up with that fastball. Just blown away in that so two outs, two quick outs here. Wasn't even able to foul one off. Given he's rolling. They go back to the top of the order. There's Trey Turner looking to hopefully get his first hit of the day. He rolls for three. And that one gets his on a strike and it catches the corner. And it catches the other corner for another strike. Count goes to 0-2. Got an 0-2 count. And Turner is going to pop this one up into the out. Into foul ground. But Wisdom oh, couldn't keep up. I don't know how I lost that one, but that ends up being... Got him! Got him looking and we're going to the bottom of the eighth. Cubs are ahead, still three to nothing. Back here at the friendly confines, and now Suzuki. Oh, now Seau Suzuki. He's one for three. He singled back in the. I think it was a sixth. Here comes a pitch. Uh, that one fouled off. And Suzuki hits this one through the infield for another for another hit. He's now two for four on the day. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling so. Another good hit for Suzuki there, and the Cubs are just they're putting it together right now. So man aboard, and up next. Jason Hayward up. He's one for three. Suzuki leading off first. Now that one fouled off, off, and that was a circle change coming inside. Hayward also singled in the sixth. Here at first with nobody out. That one is fouled off, and that was a fastball coming in. Out goes to 0-2. We got Suzuki leading off first. We got nobody out. And that one's hit the first, and unfortunately, that's going to be a double play. Well, Freeman, he just, well, he scooped that one, threw it to second, and then throw back to first, and just like that, we got two outs. Clint Frazier coming to the plate. I'm going to go ahead and get Chris Martin. We're going to schedule him to come in. Clint Frazier's up. He's 0 for 3 on the day. And he swings and misses. He missed that fastball falling behind Owen Ward. I'm not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Comes up empty on the slider there. He swung on a miss. It's 0 and 2. He's doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. The other that one is hit, hit the through shift. the shift, and that one's a single. So Frazier gets his first hit. The left Number eight. And keeps this inning alive. And at first, Ian Happ, he's 0 for 3. On the ground, first pitch seven right to second. They're going to throw it to first and get the final out. out. So eight innings in the books. Uh, the Cubs, Cubs are still ahead, three nothing. As it's going to be Turner, Freeman, and Betts, and they will face the closer, Chris Martin. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new Martin, eight for nine on save opportunities and ten appearances. He has an 0 and one record, nine in the third innings, 193 ERA, 11 strikeouts, one walk. 
here at the ballpark, down the third baseman. Justin, Justin Turner's Turner. up. He's 0 for 3. The third baseman. The pitch. Justin. And there's the strike. Ben for a strike. That one is belted. And it gets by. And it's by Hayward. He's going to end up with two. Maybe he's going to end up with a double. Got a leadoff double there, and that's a good way for the, uh, unfortunately, that's a good way for the Dodgers to start. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half. and Freddie Freeman up now. He's two for three on the day with a double and a single. Runner at second, nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him strike, two. O2 count. Nobody out. And that one is lined over the first baseman. And that's going to be a single. So we got runners at the corners. Nobody out. Mookie Betts coming to the plate. And this is a, this is a troubling spot. That's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. We're going to get a righty and a lefty going. And now it's Mookie Betts. And first off, Betts fouled that one off. One for, one for three on the day. Swings and misses with that one. He fouled that one off. Count stays at 0 and 2. That one misses for a ball. That goes 1 and 2. Kind of thought he might chase it, then thought it might catch some of his own, but it didn't. Bounced up the middle. Oh, damn it. Betts uses the speed. So we give up a run. Unfortunately, is he couldn't couldn't make the play on the ball. What what should have been a double play ball ended up ended up leading to a base hit. Is just couldn't make the play. The batter now will be Will Smith. So we're gonna we're gonna make a visit to the mound. Big moment in this game. So Martin talk seems to be having some confidence issues. We're still waiting for, still trying to get him up. But you know, at this point, we may have no choice. We may have to get somebody up quickly. And first off, Ring is fouled off. off. The pitch. Late with the swing. Swing on and missed. Stays that one's fouled away. Freeman on second. Betts on at first with nobody out. To short could be and two. Hopefully that ends up. Uh, and he beats the throw. Nope. He's safe. Crap. I got a charge corner with an error. And we got the bases loaded. Nobody out. So bases Cody Bellinger coming to the plate. Well, if he gets the save here, he's going to have earned it. Just getting through this hitter wow. is going to be a challenge enough. And, uh, yeah, we're going to bring in, yeah, we're bringing in a new pitcher. We're going to bring in the lefty, Brad Wick. This is, this is, this is ridiculous. God, that went over for a strike. If they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Yeah, if it's not hit for a double play, we're going straight to home. Next pitch misses, we're going straight home with it. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That's actually, that's a good point. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Nobody out. That one is hit on the ground. We give up the run, but we get the double play. So, I mean, 
Yeah, we gave up the run, but we got the double play. With where they hit the ball, it was double play. It was no, there was no, there was no, oh, throw the ball home, because even if we threw the ball home, there was no chance that we were going to get him. Got to deliver as the hero. In there, and it's all home. And then first strike. Taylor, two for three on the day. One run game here in the night. Hard liner. 